hope I'm not interrupting. No, oh, come in. I know you guys have been working all day. I figured you might be hungry. We squeezed the apples right here in town for the cider, and I made the cookies myself. Oh, thanks, Mia. Oh, my gosh. You're working on the show right now? That is so cool. Sometimes I have to pinch myself. Well, I don't want to get in the way. If you need anything else... Uh, M M Mia, you said you're studying journalism, right? Well, if you were going to do a story about Christmas in Hollyvale, where would you go? That's easy. I talked to Millicent Aberdeen. Okay, we have Aunt Becky and Mini-Me Aunt Becky. It's awesome. <laughs> Look, you get a microphone. Just what you need. Just what you need, a little microphone. <laughs> well, just backstage, they were doing a little social media for their fans. We were. We were on Facebook Live. But I told everyone to go to AOL.com because I think they'll be able to see it a little bit better. Thank you guys for all being here. Yeah, so sweet. we're so excited. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here because it's been quite a week with the election, and we're very much looking forward to We need a little Christmas, a little Christmas spirit, yeah. I think. Yeah, well, we got it right at Hallmark for you. Yeah. So they're doing 20 days until Christmas or a countdown? It's countdown to Christmas. I don't know how many days, but it's a lot of days, but it really it's Christmas all day long, every day with original movies on Saturday and Sunday on the Hallmark Channel and the Hallmark Movie Channel. So both channels, you can find original Christmas programming from now until Christmas Day. And everyone here is a fan of the holidays, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. How about you guys? Uh, how do you guys spend the holidays and Christmas? We, what do we usually do? Go skiing. We, go skiing. We, try to, we live in Southern California, so we try to find the snow. So we do a big family vacation together. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's true. What, that's <laughs> what we do. And we do a big Christmas Eve Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner. Mm -hmm. And then Christmas we, we usually dinner. have a what at the end of the night? A dance party. A dance party. A dance party. We do. And it's usually just me, you, your dad. Gianni. Gianni. And Olivia. But that's my, <laughs> my stepson and my other daughter. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of dance moves do you guys do? Oh, well, she, she, show everyone. She jumps in place. Bella, show dance <laughs> I jump in place. My mom just jumps and like pumps her arm, and it's really, really embarrassing. Because I'm a really but, you know. good dancer. <laughs> well, what was it like growing up uh, with a mom who's famous, of course, for Full House? And my, one of my favorite shows, Summerland. That I'm I so glad watch. you said that. Yay! <laughs> yeah, Summerland. Yay. Um, was it cool? Did you know she was famous when you were younger? I'm not sure, like, at what point I reg like, it registered to me that she was famous because, like, she's been my mom longer than I knew she was famous. But, I mean, it's I've a very different... I've been your mom forever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, it's, like, a very different, like, lifestyle that I live versus, like, my friends live. Like, I didn't realize, like, not everyone sees their mom on TV, like, a lot. And, like, I think in second grade I finally, like, realized, like, Oh, like, she has a pretty cool job. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. When they were little, um, Abella has a young, my other daughter, she's, Abella's 18, my other daughter's 17, and they used to watch the Disney Channel a lot, and then they were, like, into all the little sitcoms, so I thought, well, maybe they would like Full House. <laughs> I put Full House on, and they were like, yeah, no, nope, we don't want to watch this. <laughs> I was like, really? And they just, I think for them it was a little weird to see me on TV. And it, they just couldn't process it. And they were so little, they never watched it. They just never watched it. Never. Never watched Full House. I've seen a total of like five episodes. Yeah, they don't. They but you're don't. probably best pals with all the cast, right? No? Uh, <laughs> John uh, Stamos? Me and John go way you back. Me and John are like that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they are. They know all of them. But it's yeah. funny. I just think it was funny for them to see me, so they just didn't, you know. It wasn't until Fuller House came on that my younger daughter, Olivia, came to me, and I guess she saw something on YouTube. Yeah, or it had like it, 100 million views or something like it, that. Yeah, that's what it was. And they rolled out the, the, the um, original, pro, like the new promo for Fuller House, uh, the trailer. It had so many views. That was the first time she came to me and she said, oh my gosh, I didn't realize what a big hit show this was. Like, I did, I did not realize what a big hit it was. It's kind of cool, though, that you guys didn't feed into Full House Mania. <laughs> we all do. We love Full House. Um, and I'm Full, glad you did. <laughs> and Fuller House Season 2 is coming out, too. December 9th, it starts streaming on Netflix, yeah. What can we expect from Aunt Becky's arc? Uh, oh, my goodness. You know, I think Aunt Becky and Uncle Jesse have a really nice, sweet storyline um, this season. We've only gone back to do three episodes. I think they did a total of 13 this season. So myself, John, Bob, and Dave did three out of the 13. But we have a nice story arc. I think the fans will actually really like it.
And there's some holiday love in, in Fuller House, too, this season, yeah, right? yeah, we do have, I think we have a New Year's, and I think they have a Thanksgiving show, and a, maybe a Halloween, or I, I, but they do, they definitely have some holiday episodes this You're season. the queen of the holidays. I am the queen of, <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the queen of Christmas. I'm just going to give myself that title. <laughs> and the new queen of Christmas. This is your first role, correct? It is. Congratulations. Thank That's you. awesome. Did you know you always wanted to kind of follow in your mom's footsteps and be an actress? Well... No, originally I kind of wanted to like be more in like the fashion world and like be a fashion designer. And then like two years ago, I just kind of wanted to like try acting. So I signed up for, or she signed me up for an acting class. And then like, I kind of like fell in love with it there. I didn't sign her up. Like I forced her to take an acting class. No, like class. I was like, like hey mom, can asked I act? Me. I've done everything in my power to discourage them from becoming actors only because <laughs> I know, you know, it's great, but I know the flip side too. I mean, I have a lot of wonderfully talented friends that are actors that are not working and then the percentage is small and so I always try to say that you know it's a it's a hard business so but she was the one that said I really would like to try so anyway here we are yep <laughs> and and I was very proud of her I thought she did a really nice job in the film and it was um, really special for me for the very first time that she's ever been in front of the camera it's a film with me and that was actually really special so and so it was kind of a win-win it was nice I was going to say, what was it like to watch Bella um, be on set and act and kind of pursue her passion? It was nerve-wracking. I was nervous. I think I was maybe more nervous than you were. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so you more your rep. I remember one night in the hotel room saying to her, you better know your lines. You better show up prepared. And she's like, I, I've got it. I'm okay. <laughs> and she really did. She came to set, and she was so prepared. Um, actors usually get sides in the morning of all the scenes you're doing that day. And most actors will show up on set and you'll have the sides in your hand and you'll block it. And, and she showed up the first day on set without any sides. And of course, well, what does she know from sides? She's never been on a set. So she came in, she knew all of her lines. She didn't need any some kind of security blanket in her hand. And I, I it, was, it was in that moment I was like, oh, wow. Okay. She's, wow. She's here. She's on her way. And, um, and then at that point, I just had to turn it over to the director, Ron Oliver, our wonderful director. And he just came to me and he said, she's just magic. She's doing such a great job. So, oh, yeah. Magic. How sweet. <laughs> were you super nervous, Bella, for your first day? Or were you kind of just going with the flow and seeing how it worked? I think if my mom wasn't there, I would have been really nervous. But, like, I had her there. And she's been doing this for so long. And she knows everything that's going on. Like, I had, like... I had your back. The most experienced partner in the game. Thank you. And we had a really super fun set. Like Colin Ferguson is in yeah. the film, and he's so funny and so wonderful in the movie. And uh, Kevin O'Grady, who also does um, this other series I do for Hallmark called Garage Sale Mystery on the Hallmark Movie and Mystery Channel, he plays the detective in that series of movies. And he came on board and did a part in this film too. And he's so funny. So we had, and Ron Oliver, our director, is really funny and fun. So we had a really nice set, very lighthearted laughing we had a good time so it was all in all it was a great experience even though we were wearing winter coats in june <laughs> i was gonna say when did you guys film this and where because it's in a christmas town which i really wish existed i actually looked up holly like, yeah, i go there yeah i know so well you filmed it in june in, june, in california in vancouver oh vancouver cool. yeah in so vancouver yeah it was warm it was warm and we were in snow coats and what do they blow at you bella snope snope it's like fake snow, but it's made out of soap, and they put it in, like, snow blowers, and they just blow it everywhere. So that's how, when you see the snow in the Christmas movies and you see, like, the blizzard, they're blowing snow. It's really soap out of a snow blower. <laughs> yeah, and every so often, if you, wa if you look closely, um, especially in a close-up, you can see, like, every, you'll see a soap sud, like, stuck, stuck in an actor's <laughs> hair. That must not be good for hair and makeup on set. Yeah, it can, can, it can kind of weigh your hair, hair down a little bit yeah. if, you get, if you get snoped too much. <laughs> and so how long did the movie take to shoot? Three weeks. Three weeks. Cool. So three weeks in a winter wonderland in June. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sounds magical. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was fun. It really was. Very different. Yeah. So it was fun. Junes. Let's tell everybody a little bit about the movie and sort of the plot. So you play a TV personality. Yes, I do. I play a TV personality who... Um, doesn't dislike Christmas, but has lost her Christmas spirit and really doesn't celebrate the holiday anymore. Um, and uh, after she has a guest on her show, her mic is still hot, it's still open, and she thinks she's off the air, and this gentleman's trying to give her a Christmas ornament, and he's trying to, like, you know, ask her what she's doing for Christmas, and finally she just says, you know, look, I, I'm no offense, but I really don't, I'm just, I'm just not a Christmas girl. And 
the mic is live. And of course, that sets off an absolute, like, you know, firestorm of people like hear it and and I have this big number one talk show and then of course people are protesting and they don't want you know they want me off the air and so they send me to a little small town to find my um, Christmas spirit and when we get to this town we find we there's something going on there's something up in the town and there's like a little bit of a, a story that the town has that as the as the movie plays on you find out what's going in the town on in the town and Colin, Colin Ferguson plays my producer and he comes with me on, on the journey, and Bella plays, who do you play? I play, like, a girl in the small town who's, like, her idol is her character, so, like, the fact that she's in my small town is very surprising and very shocking and, like, unreal for me because, like, I'm just a girl from a small town, and, like, I help her find her Christmas spirit. Right, and you want to also, she wants to be a journalist and a, and a you know, a, a, pers a TV personality mm -hmm. also, so, anyway, that's, so she's a little fan. You're like the little Christmas elf. Yeah, kind of. Your characters first introduced. I'm like, oh, she's a little. She's a little Christmas elf. <laughs> I'm a little she's elf. my little Christmas elf. Yeah, what's going on in this town? <laughs> little Christmas elf. Yeah, but um, it's a sweet movie. It's very, it's very feel good. It's 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 a romantic comedy. Um, my character and Colin's character dated in college, and then we had you know we went our separate ways, and so we're now reconnected through our jobs and. There's that portion of the story too, that that you know kind of romance, and so there's a lot in it, and it's it's actually just a really sweet, feel good, fun film. And the hot the hot mic debate has been a big one this year. Uh, oh that's yeah, one of how could we have known that our plot line would be so timely? <laughs> and that's my biggest fear. <laughs> uh, watch what out was for it those like hot mics. To, to kind of play a media uh, you know host? Um, it was fun. You know, I like, um, I love actually doing interviews and I love actually interviewing people and I've had the good fortune of being able to go over to the Today Show a couple of times and sit in as a co-host and I really enjoy it. So I, I found that part of the film actually easy. I, mean, I, I like that. I like sitting and talking. I'm chatty. So, you know, so it was fun. It was really fun. You're a natural. We got to call up Kelly Ripa. And get you, get you <laughs> I love Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> What about you, Bella? Do you ever see yourself, you know, your character wants to be a journalist. Could you ever see yourself going down that path and being an on-air personality? Um, who did you do? Who did you do oh, the red carpet for? I did you the did Teen a great Choice job. Awards, like red carpet, and got to interview a bunch of people on it, and that was like a lot of fun. So like, I definitely, if I got the opportunity, I'd, like I'd want to do it. Because you're, you and your sister are pretty big on social media, correct? Yeah. Uh, when did you start discovering this social media uh, bug of yours? Because I know your sister has a lot of followers as well. Yeah, she has a YouTube channel that she created like two years ago and now has like half a million subscribers or followers or something, which is just crazy to me. And then I just have followers from her mostly and then like my sister's like YouTube followers. Both, but like, Bella does some, me. like her sister will have her on the YouTube channel and they're actually really very funny together. Their personalities are, they're, they're actually really funny together. Why, thank you. You know, her sort of like, I don't even know, zaniness and your sarcasm are a very <laughs> funny, funny combination. What was it like growing up with a sister who's pretty close to your own age? That must have been fun. I only have brothers, so Me I too. wouldn't know. Just brother. I love it. She's like my best friend, like a built-in buddy since birth. Yeah. She's like the one person like I know I can rely on for like anything, so it's amazing. She's really funny, my younger daughter. Um, you're both funny, but she's really funny. And when they were really little, she would just keep this one in stitches all the time, like laughing so hard. Like you were by far her best audience. Like yeah, just totally laughing I'm and laughing. Fan. And it was really, it was great when they were little because I, I, I could, I remember su I loved Sunday afternoons so much, or you know the weekends, like on, especially Sunday. Because they, we'd get up in the morning and we'd stay in our pajamas, and they they would go in their playroom and they just play together by the hour, and I'd give them lunch and they'd go back and they play, and it was just so nice. Like we didn't do a lot of play dates, there wasn't. It was just sort of our little group, and it was just fun. It was just really just lovely, and they're still so close, which is nice. Oh, you guys have such a sweet family. I'm like, <laughs> adopt me. <laughs> we'll adopt. I you. love my family too. You guys have. We'll a great adopt bond. your whole family. <laughs> Do you ever get nervous for your girls to kind of be in the spotlight? You mentioned a little bit before that, you know, this business can be yeah. good and bad. You know, I, I've resisted the idea for a long time, but I think what I've seen more and more is that social media is just, it's not going away and it's 
be it's in our lives um, in a big way. And um, I look at Olivia when she said she was going to start a YouTube channel. I didn't even know what that was. I was kind of like, oh, good luck with that, you know. And now two years later, she's really turned it into a business. More power to her. I mean, the fact that and the fact that young people have a platform now to get their their message, their passion, their talent, whatever it is, out there is kind of incredible, really. Um, so I've learned to embrace it. You know, I, I think at first I was very resistant about having them in the spotlight at all, but it seems to me that it's just the way of the world. And it's something I don't always understand. I do social media because it comes along now with my job. They expect you to do it. And I l actually love interacting with fans. It's, it's a great way to get an immediate connection with people, and I really love that. But um, at first, I really didn't understand the whole Twitter, you know, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch. Like, I was like, well, who cares? Like, you know, I didn't really get it, you know? So, but more and more, I mean, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm embracing it. And, uh, and I can see where it's just become a part of a young person's life. It's just, it's like, you know, it's just, it's just become a part of who they are. It's crazy to think too, like if Full House was on the air when there was social media, do you think- I say this all the time. Yeah. I'm like, you guys would have been the most followed group of people like ever. Yeah, she does always say that. We didn't have that. We didn't even have paparazzi when Full House was on. You know, we had you had the proper show up for a screening, uh, you know, or a movie premiere, and you had the red carpet, and you had photographers there to photograph you at an event, but you didn't have people chasing you down the street or following you or, you know, it wasn't anything that you see with, like, with the Kardashians, Jenner's experience. It wasn't like that at all. Is it ever scary to think about how much that fame has changed over the years and how TV stars, you know, from the 90s, it's totally different now if you're a TV star. Yeah, it is. And I guess it depends on what you're doing, but it seems to me more and more it's the reality TV stars and the YouTubers and that are really have the, the, the bigger followings. I could be wrong, but that's what it seems like to me. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so I don't even know for actors uh, that are on, I mean, I mean, I'm on a, television series right now for Hallmark, When Calls the Heart, we're in our fourth season, and we have a great fan base, and we interact with them through social media, but um, again, I don't know that it's to the extreme that like the younger YouTubers, the millennials are experiencing. What's your experience with social media? Do you have a favorite platform that you prefer over some of the others? Are you a Snapchatter at all? I love Snapchat because I like filters, but like I feel like Instagram is the best platform for me because I just like like taking photos and those types of things. I'm not allowed to have a Snapchat. Yeah, I won't let her because it's that'd be I'm too really old. embarrassing. <laughs> I don't want her on there. Too I, love it. I told my mom that when she joined Facebook. I was like, Mom, don't go on Facebook. You're going to see all my college friends. Now it's like everyone, grandma's on Facebook. I mean, yeah. it's crazy. I think Facebook so has become like the older like demographic more and like, more. Like I barely use Facebook anymore. Yeah, it yeah, seems like weird. That's like what Instagram? everyone tells me. But I, <laughs> are you still Instagram on? You still use your I'm Facebook? I'm still on Facebook. Yeah. Um, I have I one. I just don't use or? it. I use it more for news yeah. and to yeah. post things like appearances and things like that. That's always what it's good for. But I guess yeah, the younger generation doesn't think it's cool. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny. I didn't understand Facebook for that. Was the last one I did. Instagram was my first foray into social media. And I really like Instagram because I just putting up a picture seems it's so simple and kind of fun. And and then Twitter at first I was resistant, but now I'm I understand Twitter more. And my last thing was Facebook because I realized, especially with the Hallmark Channel, that's more the demographic. They're on Facebook, and that's where you really connect with them. And um, but I still didn't really understand it. I didn't it confused me. And then I discovered Facebook Live, and I, now I just all I do is Facebook Live. <laughs> addicted to it. It's, I think it's weird. So fun. <laughs> live stuff's where it's at, right? I, I like it. I live really stuff. love Facebook Live. And you know what? The people that are watching seem to like it. And it's, I don't know. I just, I enjoy it. And again, immediately you get questions across the screen and you see people's names and you can talk to them. And I think that's actually really fun. Years ago when I started my career, you'd get fan mail, you'd open it up, you'd send a picture. It was very impersonal. Right? Now you feel like you feel like you know people. And there are people that follow me on Twitter and you see someone's and a lot of fans I'll follow back, and you see their picture all the time, and you start to get to know their names, and you feel like you know them. It's kind of funny. It's just, you know, I think it's made the world like this big in a, in a good way. You know, I think there are a lot of positives.
And I'm sure sometimes you get bombarded, though, with Fuller House news, like, when are the Olsen twins coming on? And yeah, that's a, that's a big, that's a really popular question. I wish I had an answer. They're not on Fuller House for second season either. I'm not in, in any of those negotiations, nor am I privy to any information, only that I can say they're not on again for second season. But I'm sure you have enjoyed being back with the cast and... You oh, guys would welcome yeah. them with open arms, I'm sure, if they wanted to come. But how? Oh, I'm sure they would. They would more than welcome them back if they wanted to. Um, but we, it's been great for all of us to be reunited. Who would have thought, after you know, twenty over twenty five years, that we would actually be back shooting on the same soundstage that we did all those years ago? And it really is a spinoff show. It's really Candace and Jody and Andrea's show. But it's been fun for us to come, you know, go back and just to do a few episodes. What was it like that first day walking? back onto the set, where you just flooded with nostalgia? Yeah, it was, very, it was really surreal. It was very emotional, um, especially we, the cast, had always kept in touch over the years. I think it was more walking back on the soundstage and seeing our set put back together. That was the real moment for me where I was like, whoa, and I got choked up. Like, that was like my moment. But it, it's been so much fun. We, it's like, and then after we kind of got over the whole wow, this is really happening, and the, and the shock of it kind of wore, out, or wore off throughout the day. It was like we had never left. It, we just picked up right where we left off. It was, you know, same funny jokes, Bob, Dave, hilarious. I mean, hilarious. The guys are John. They're all so funny and laughing, and it's just like I remembered it when we were in production 25 years earlier. Have you been on set yet? I'm oh, jealous. yeah. Oh, yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> they come all the time. <laughs> we go, and then we, there's like, because there's a live studio audience, and there's like the warm-up guy or like hype-up guy, whatever he is. And my sister, the first time like we were there, like for the second season, somehow tricked him that she was Australian. Like, we don't know how. Like, she raised her hand. He's like, who's from the furthest place? And like, said it in an Australian accent. He like called her down. Like, it was like, then she was saying how much she wanted to meet Aunt Becky. Like, she's the biggest fan. And then like, we left, and then later my mom told him, like, that was my daughter. And then another time we went, and I pretended I was British along with Candace's daughter, Natasha, and, like, he believed us again. So that's what we do on they set. Like to, they like bored. to <laughs> prank the warm-up guy and pretend that they're fans from out of town. <laughs> hey, Natasha, wasn't she just on The Voice? Yeah. Yes. That's so that's cool. Great. She was so good. Look at all these oh, kids God. doing cool stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's awesome. She did a great job. Well, I do want to open it up to the audience. Great. Uh, we so would love anyone that. Anyone who has some questions, let me know. I see a question right there. Did your shirt, what did it say, Jesse? It did Jesse say and Jesse Rippers. and the Rippers. All right. So cute. So cute. Thank you. I'm so excited to meet you. Oh, thank you. Um, the secret ad admirer episode of Full House has always been my favorite, and I love that it's a nod to you. Yes. Um, I'm wondering, how did that episode come about? Do you remember? Did you suggest it? Or? Jeff Franklin, when they hired me, for Full House, when I was first cast in the role of Becky, Jeff Franklin, who created Full House, liked that movie. And that's where he was familiar with my work, was from that film. So as we were in production, he was like, I'm going to do an episode that's like the love, you know, the love letter episode from, Secret, from the movie Secret Admirer. And that's how it came about. But he was a fan of, of the movie. So cool. Thank you. I love that movie with C. Thomas Howell. That was so much fun. Hi, how are you? Hi. Um, I was, uh, this question is for Lori. Um, I was wondering, you have like, I'm a big fan, by the way, um, and I think you have such a beautiful, positive outlook, um, and I'm just wondering how you kind of maintain that throughout your career in the industry. Um, you know, I think it's just my, my attitude in life, and I'm going to say it has to do with um, my parents and how I was raised. My mom and dad were always really positive people, and they were... My mom always said every day, count your blessings, count your blessings. And I think I always go back to that. You know, even when I feel like maybe I'm under a lot of pressure or a lot of stress or the day's getting me down or something's not going my way, I always do stop and think, okay, count, count my blessings because I, I do feel very blessed and very fortunate. And I just always remind myself of that and always try to embrace that and appreciate that. Um, because I, I'm lucky, you know, and I'm, I'm lucky I get to do what I love to do. And as I was saying earlier, they're small percentage of, of actors that are working. And the fact that I'm still working at my age, um, as much as I'm working right now, I feel so lucky and so fortunate. And the fact that my children are 
growing up and, and, and they're, they've turned into lovely young women and my stepson's a wonderful young man and, and they're nice people and I, I can look back and say, wow, my husband and I have raised nice people and that's all that I've ever wanted is for my children to be good people and be happy people and be kind and, and to give back in the world. And so I do, I feel really blessed and so I just try to hold on to that and always remember that. Um, it's important, you know. So sweet. Bella, was your mom very positive when you were growing up? Always. Yeah. I love Always that. Positive. Yeah. Sweet. I think we have one more question. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Do you have a favorite band, artist, album? Is there just one go-to that just gets you so pumped? Oh, my goodness. Do I have one? Um, I don't know. I know my, my taste can can just vary so much, huh? You're obsessed with Michael Bublé for the longest time. I do like Michael Bublé. Justin Timberlake. You I like? like Justin Timberlake. My, Why am my, I? Because I, I, I'm, I'm kind of all over the place with music. Truly, I am. Like, what's that song um, One Direction does? Olivia. Well, I love that because it's, it's my other daughter's name, Olivia. I do love that song. But honestly, I could sing you a Bobby Sherman song right now. Do you remember Bobby Sherman? <laughs> <laughs> I got one. <laughs> dance to on Christmas. <laughs> Whatever song you guys pick. Yeah, I music don't. we usually pick. Yeah. Like pop songs. Yeah. Just like random music. Who's your favorite right now artist? Uh, I don't know. Probably like Rihanna. Yeah, I love She's Riri. So cool. <laughs> Riri. She's and very sweet, huh? So fashionable. Yeah. Well, thank you both for being here. And the well, movie airs this Saturday, correct? This Saturday night on Hallmark Channel. Christmas spirit, guys. 7 Central. Please tune in, everyone, and watch. I think okay. you'll like it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. We're looking forward thank to you. it. Thank you. Thank you all much. for being and here. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you.